let's go over Mendel's laws of inheritance. For the law of dominance, we know that a heterozygous genotype consists of one dominant and one recessive allele, but only the dominant allele is expressed in the phenotype. For the law of segregation, Mendel theorized that, during meiosis, genes of diploid organisms separate equally amongst their haploid gametes. Offspring are equally likely to receive one of two traits. That's why, in a monohybrid cross between true breed parents, we see that predictable phenotypic 3 to 1 ratio in generation F2. So what about different traits like flower color or seed shape? Great question! Enter Mendel's Law of Independent Assortment, which states that the inheritance of one gene has no effect on the inheritance of another. Take a look at this dihybrid cross between true breed parents. Offspring are equally likely to inherit the dominant or recessive allele, resulting in 16 equally likely genotypic combinations, but the 9 to 3 to 3 to 1 phenotypic ratio persists. Feels like there's a but coming. Mendel's law of independent assortment was true for pea plants, but some combinations of alleles break the rules. Linkage is the phenomenon by which genes are located close together on the same chromosome, increasing the likelihood of those genes being inherited together. Now, despite gene linkage, it's still possible for two genes located close to one another on the same chromosome to be inherited independently. This is due to genetic recombination. So genes are inherited independently of one another, except when they aren't, except when they are? During meiosis, some segments of homologous chromosomes undergo crossover. Keep in mind that even though alleles may differ between pairs of homologous chromosomes, the corresponding genes do not. Here, genetic material is exchanged, resulting in recombinant offspring with new combinations of alleles, potentially different genotypes altogether from either parent. 